必死雞佬啊！冇 J J 可以拎。Uh, no JJ to lick for gay men to have sexual pleasure. Girl. So you know, therefore, when you lamb, you lick anything. They don't feel any excitement. Even if you are a man or a woman, like the gay men who take it up their assholes, when you bend chop, see what long got the gay roll. 佢佢冇性快感噶嘛，無論點佢都唔會有感受。Just like that, like that people, you like anything in front of them, they have no feeling. My dad Siberian Husky dog Cody had been already fixed, like spayed and neutered. Before we found him on the internet and adopted him, the dog. Now the dog is already dead. And uh, you know, so there's really no bore, no bore of the dead dog. No bore. Like. And without a ball, you know, the dog didn't have a sausage either. It's not there. Just say, "Jo, the Husky cow, Cody, he, 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 喺條街嗰度肥嗰時咧，佢佢係誒肥咯，但係佢冇誒冇呢樣嘢。Today we are going to perform how gay people lick the nanas. This is how gay people lick bananas. Today we're going to perform how gay men or gay prostitutes lick bananas. A banana. Two bananas. Fishing. Fishing. To eat a banana, or not to eat a banana? That's the question. When you flick the banana peel, it becomes a flower. After one banana squanders another.
kind of little past me, the banana thing. Can I have your banana, please? Thanks. Gravity. How do you grow a banana? Like that? Which is your favorite breed of banana? How many bananas can you eat in one evening or on the same day? Salmon. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me, where did you get that banana from? I bought it in the store, fruit and produce section. Say what? Food and the produce. A cha cha cha. How does a gay prostitute man wrap a banana? Stands for each piece of banana. Peace, peace out. Just peace out. How does a gay prostitute take it up his asshole? Hey. A gay man that has no penis or balls, no Penis or testicle of the gay prostitute man that takes it up their assholes has no sexual pleasure and is a very important factor you need to always remember. Human beings can love or express love only because they are biologically human. An absence of sexual drive leads to no Feeling of affection, no love, no love. So we've told you in the past. If you ever met a gay man who has no testicle, no banana, no banana, 
he will kill you and your family. Whatever he says to you, don't believe it. He's gonna kill you and your family for money. And there's so many of them, so many of gay men without penises, no testicle spores. They, they don't feel anything at all. They do not feel anything at all. Whatever you say, however you like yourselves, <coughs> however you love yourselves, won't matter. When the gay man <coughs> of no love, no affection, no reason of ever loving anyone, or anything. They don't love that. They don't love that. No, nothing. Because when you drink coffee, can you finish drinking the coffee? The coffee is already gone. With the coffee gone, the pleasure of drinking the coffee is over in the previous moment. You ate a banana. The banana is already gone. The pleasure of eating the banana is over in the previous moment. They already told you in the US Army, you're not gonna understand anything. There's nothing you will ever understand. Even if you are a US Army member, before you knew it, they could already have tried to kill you. And either they succeeded or they did not. So it's not about, not about understanding or knowing, no. What is it then? What is it about? Somebody ask you, what's the secret of life? What's the secret of money? How come you're so rich? Uncut. No, not how how they can improve on their studying or how they could have a successful professional career. How they could do business well. No, no such thing. Just to the point. Money. or quote secret unquote they might not even mention the word life just what's the secret that is a shortcut somebody normal dares not to ever wonder about shortcut no in fact we keep reading in the books the very famous quote, motto, quotes, there's no shortcut in life, unquote. To get from point A to point B or point A to point B, you have a route or a route you take and you walk the miles or whatever. And there's no shortcut in existence ever. Any point, any point, you would take a shortcut or do the easy leap. You simply end it up.
those of us who know know that life is precious dare not to ever do anything we shouldn't we're not supposed to because when you step out of the safety zone the comfort There's no end to the extent of risk or danger even. Human beings tend to savor and cherish that which is important to them. Like life itself, that which is critical to them, extremely important. Then it's not about some pop song like quote. Da, 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 da then you should go ahead and love yourself and quote no not even about that of course then some chocolate tongue some way chomen shang Sunia 就能很靠近阳光。Some music lyrics writer compared life to a box of chocolate. You would imagine the flavor of the chocolates inside the box of chocolate. A music songwriter of the lyrics said. But that's not what life is about, tasting life itself. Like, dude, if you wanna eat your own skin and bones, like what's your skin? Oh yeah, your skin and bones turn into something beautiful. You know, you know they take their lives, they bleed themselves dry. For you, they bleed themselves dry. Uncle, they told you, on the contrary, in the opposite. No, you are controlled by your heads. Your heads told you what you should then do. Unless you're tired of being alive, you wouldn't just go be like telling yourselves you wanna bleed yourselves dry for somebody. No, never. Instead you keep telling yourself You cherish your being alive. You don't care what somebody said. You don't care what lies they told you or other people about themselves or anybody or anything. No. As long as they are not physically in front of you, killing you physically, and they cannot find you, you're safe, right? Plain and simple fact. It doesn't matter what they said, their names are. It means nothing. And we have the conversations in church, in government, in the magazines. 
like I told you that the famous person, the other famous person, or they made up a story about themselves and told it to everybody. Some of them got believed by somebody or some people, some of them got supported. And they saw you, they noticed you look rich, right? You look rich and handsome and beautiful. They noticed there's something about you more than just wealth, your richness. And they noticed that they had learned in their killing experience. If they mention a positive quality about you and your money, they might seem more genuine, sincere, and really appreciative towards you. They really do admire you. And then they really try to do that to you. How you could notice their lying? Does it matter? No. Your family told you not to speak to stranger people ever. So that's what you do. Just simply not speaking to any stranger and you would be fine. Last year in spring 2023, some fake online social media profile contacted me on the internet, made up a complete story about himself. He said things like, quotes, I had a girlfriend I was about to marry in Singapore. She's been my girlfriend for years. She had been cheating behind my back, it turned out. One day I walked home into the girlfriend and a rich man having sex. I felt so sad that I almost took my own life, but, but instead I came here to the US, he said. He said, he's from Singapore country in South Asia. He has some Chinese blood in him from his father. He said he's a graduate of the Singapore National University. Business major. He said he lives in Seattle City, Washington State, USA. He told me to visit him on WhatsApp chat online. And uh, he said he cooked a dish of stir fried beef with groceries he had bought from a Whole Food supermarket store. But he might not have known about Whole Food supermarket store here in the US because I just told him. Did you buy your groceries at Whole Foods supermarket store? He said, yes, he drove home from a Whole Foods supermarket store. I told him, well, I might put a fairy light, a boat fairy light 
from here, Silicon Valley, California, USA. Over to Seattle City, Washington State, USA. For traveling, because mm, I like traveling too. And uh, he said, LOL. Sensing that something had been wrong. I posted the photograph he sent me of the food he cooked. His picture he sent to me. Or well, his picture I found on the online social media profile of his own. And screenshot image of the chat record to chinaweibo.com We attracted about 300 views overnight I took the screenshot image and sent it to him It got him angry He wrote disrespectful things to me that was in the beginning or middle of February 2023 over the internet I sent information about the fake online social media profile to the US government and some European government departments and even my own Boston University online to notify society about such fake online social media profile or fake man if it's a real online social media profile of somebody turns out in May 2023 that it had only been a fake online social media profile posting photographs and fraudulent background Photographs of a China celebrity man and a fake fraudulent background of a made up person. There was no such Singapore half Chinese, half Japanese, or ever. Asian man living in Seattle City, Washington State, USA. That's why nobody went to visit him. Because those who went will have been killed. I gave that information to public safety of Silicon Valley, California, USA areas as courtesy. The officers thanked me for the tip in May 2023. I said, you're welcome. My pleasure. Perhaps it takes somebody like us who have worked in the US government or at the US government to tell you. No, uh, the US government does not fact check or verify the background of anybody for you. 
no such thing. If you met somebody suspicious, but you failed to report that to the US government, and you thought you had found yourself a treasure pot, a piece of jam, you got killed by them, sucks to be you. They start in the box. Maybe you met somebody many, many years ago. But you know what they say? Murder is a very long process sometimes. <laughs> they killed you in the future. If you didn't leave them physically, they ended up being the one killing you. Or they end up being the one who killed you in the future. And it just had really sucked to be you. Like a banana. A big one banana. You suck it out, it's gone. And this one, when you suck the banana out, would be like that. Sometimes there are cold-blooded serial killer murderers who kill people without even knowing or cognitive of their killing some people for money. Because for them, their survival instinct is to kill people for money and pleasure. And they are substance abusers. They say very weird things to you that nobody understands. No, you did not make something up in your head to understand them. There's no wild animal predator effect either. There's none of that. You simply missed out on your chance to run away. Right? You did not call for help. You, you did not tell your family or friends or the government where you are. You failed on that step. But if after that you could run out the door safely back to where you live or a hotel you stay at, or a government department office. You might still survive, right? But if you failed on that too, you could be dead already. Like just so close you are to being dead. Shang